How's it going ladies and gents? This is Kane from DJVB and uh, this is a quick little teaser sort of new feature demonstration that I wanted to show you guys which allows you to drop your logo into any of the existing box mapping using uh, the new feature which is a V-Ray, sorry a Z depth pass which is a black and white image as you can see down here and here and here and here and all that is for those of you that don't know is a map that lets the software know uh, where in space from near and far you want to put something so it's uh, black for near and white for far a black and white image and then it translates that and lets Resolume know where you want to stick your logo which is in this layer here so I'm just going to really quickly run over this with you, uh, with you guys because there is a few little differences so first of all you'll notice these back three faces that I've had before are gone because they were rarely used in fact it turns out not that useful so I thought we'd take our real estate and we'll put something more useful in there this feature is going to be rolled out across all our products I'm going to have to render it back into all the existing products so just give us a bit of time for that uh, but it is in five of our new structures uh, which I will show you in here in just a second and uh, yeah so let's crack on with it so I'll show you what it does so as you can see I've got a top layer which is just a, the, a duplicate of my clip so it's exactly the same thing and I'm using it as a mask so if I right click mask mode one below so it's in a group so in this group all we've got is the content masking this logo okay and the logo uh, sorry the, the content the mask layer has an effect on it which you can see here called threshold and all that does if I just drag this window a little bit smaller you can see it's making the the gradient from black to white and it's just making it black or white so there's no interpolation there's no grays it's just black or white and this is the threshold lets you sort of choose where that point is and if you look on the camera footage you can see now that is sort of telling the software it's telling Resolume where in space do you want this to drop? Do you want us to drop the logo in behind the flubber thing? Do you want us to put it in front of the flubber thing? So it's still inside the, the frame or do, or do we want to stick it straight outside the front all the way or right behind? It's up to us. We can stick it wherever we want. This layer in the middle, it mines are still but it could be animated, it could be moving, it could be anything you want. It could be a burger, it could be an uh, Adobe logo, it could be a Resolume logo. It's just a nice uh, on-the-fly way for you to be able to give your clients a sort of customized projection map look and throw their logo inside of a 3D object on the fly and it looks like you've spent a lot of time on it when really you haven't. So that's what it does. I'm just going to quickly flick through some of these so you can see how that actually translates into some of the media. So some of it, obviously, a few of these clips, it's, um, it's less less of an effect okay because you've got things that just sort of intersect the the logo so I wouldn't use it with some of these clips and I would use it more with others it's just totally up to you it works for all of them because I've rendered it into all of them now so let's stick it I don't know this one okay yeah so that looks quite nice we've stuck it behind the um, the lungs you can stick it in front if we want and the same for many others so you've seen it in flubber we could hide it in I don't know we could drop their logo in electricity um, we could make the logo spin if we wanted to. We could also use Resolume's, uh, Resolume's uh, text animators feature and actually just draw text inside the, the cubes now. Uh, yeah, there we go. That looks quite nice. Let's drag it behind and hide it in here. Um, there's also the soft smoothness. So this is just like feathering. If you use After Effects, it just softens the threshold at which you're dropping it into the content. Um, yeah, so that's all the feature does. Um, but I do want to quickly just show you sort of a few things to bear in mind with this new feature. Because if you're dropping logos in, you uh, there's two options to map it. You can use the face option here, which we've which we're all very used to if you've got a box mapping pack. Or uh, now I've actually taken to mapping things using uh, the poly method, just drawing points and drawing it straight from these perspective renders you can do that as well there's actually less steps involved which is why I do that so I'm just going to quickly show you how it's done now and then I'll show you how the old method is uh, how you do it using the old method there is one extra step of course because you need to have your logo sort of uh, marry in with this old regime and it needs to sort of be unflattened to this template first but you can do that in Resolume and I'll show you how so let's jump in so the first method the easy method this method here is very simple I'll explain it to you guys but basically 
I'm going to get rid of these just so it looks like we've started from fresh. So I've just mapped these front three faces here. Just I've just used the poly. If we just go to the plus here, polygon slice. I've just drawn some slices around these areas and then in the output I've literally just dumped it where it needs to go on my geometry. Simple, that is linked so if you can see here on the right it says layer 1 so we're just taking layer 1 as a source. Now if I show you layer 1 is this layer and it's just the media so we're literally just taking this part of the image plonking it onto our geometry, nothing funky going on there. Okay, so to now implement your logo there is a little bit of funkiness going on. I have a, a group and in that group we've got our logo and above the logo I have a, just a duplicate of the footage and as you would notice here you see it's not in the same place my, my depth information is actually down here so we want the same mapping but we just want to take it from a lower part of the image that's all and as you can also tell I guess I should mention I've just shifted the logo down to this position here using the X and Y position of the clip there sorry there um, because obviously we're taking from this part of the image it makes sense that it would need to be taken from there as well so we've got our basic three faces mapped to save some time let's just duplicate this because it's already correct so this is now the logo we're going to drop in the logo and the mask so we want it to come from group one and as you can see it needs to come from down here instead so we just drag it down we're on the input side by the way now you can see in camera if you look on my footage that we're just sort of dragging it in. Now I'm doing this by eye, which is a bit of a no-no, but I have done this a million times before, and I think you're all bored of me showing you how to map things. We all know how to, to do it. You'd go round and you'd select this, and you'd probably initially change the input so you can see what you're doing to layer one or something, and you'd just do the faces like that. I've just cheated and copied it, because why not? Why do more work than is necessary? So there we go, that's how it works. And in the output, it stays the same, of course, because we want it to go into exactly the same place. If you were to shift the one of these faces around, it would ruin the look, and it would look very strange, so don't do that. Okay, so, save and close. That is method one, the easy method. Now, the next method, the old method that we were using with the flattened faces, which you might need for other software, uh, let's run through that. So, what you do, advanced editor. Almost, it's a similar fashion, so you, know, you guys know by now this is how this works so I'm just gonna hide this we'll get rid of it and I'm gonna make a new screen and what you need to do is you need to get this logo into this here format so you can use it otherwise if you just put the logo over here and try to map it onto your cube it would appear halfway across the face and then it would get cut off and then it would appear some in a complete wrong orientation on another face it would just look like a jigsaw puzzle so to combat that I like to make a new screen and I like to call it calc, which means calculations, it's just sort of a point of reference. We're not going to actually output to a screen, it's a virtual screen, but I just need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, take a shortcut and cheat because I don't want this video to be any longer than it needs to be. I'm just going to copy those three and paste them in here if I can, apparently not. Let's just drag them down. Okay. Oh, I see, because we need a slice in here. Okay, so there we go, a little bit of juggling around. So, calc, we've got the original mapping. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to take it from... Uh, we're going to take it from the logo, which is on layer 2. Yep. And we're going to take it from down here, remember? So I'm just going to change this briefly so I can see what I'm doing. We're just going to drag it down roughly to keep this nice and condensed okay something like that I think yeah pretty close okay so let's take from layer 2 which is our logo layer so we're taking our logo and then in the output of our virtual calculation screen we're going to output transform but we're going to transform it into this format so we're going to unmap it essentially which I know seems a bit strange but that is a nice little workaround to do this in Resolume, no re rendering, no using the toolkit in After Effects, you can just do it in here. Uh, so what we need is we need this to map out into the format here. So we just need to make note of the faces. So this face here is the X and it's 
A and it's B and it's C and it's D, okay? And we need to get it into A, B, C and D like that and we need it to be here. So we need to basically do this. Now I am doing this quite quickly because I I don't I don't want this video to be long. Um, if if you need more time, you'd want to just check every every single point where you're going, and obviously you want to do it properly, not the way I'm doing it. And remember these tiles, these these faces are 720 pixels per. So what we'll do is we'll make sure we set the coordinates properly in a minute. I'm just doing a very rough job first. Um, so our Z face is like this A B C D so that's A that's B that's C that's D and we need to get it into this format A B C D so it just very simply needs to do this really like that and then our final face which is the Y is like this A B C D A B C D so it needs to just flip like this okay so we've just reverse mapped it, we've done the opposite of what you'd want to do in Resolume. I'm teaching you guys not how to projection map, quite literally, how to unprojection map, that's what this is. So, now we've done that, let's set the coordinates so they're nice and the, the correct numbers. So, zero, 0, for origin, this would be 720, 0. Yep, this one here would be, we could just snap it actually, couldn't we? Yep, this one would be... 27200 which would be okay maths is awful 1440 by zero there we go and this one would be snapped on and this would be I'm gonna have to use the calculator because I'm not great at maths at all probably 2160 yeah it is 2160 don't need the calculator genius so 2160 by zero there we go and then this would be 2160 by 720 this would be 1440 by 720 there we go this would be precisely the same snap it in this would be 720 by 720 this would be snapped into the same place and this would be 0 by 720 of course so now we've got our faces unmapped which is nice it's beautiful isn't it so what we can do is we can then use this calc which is going out we can then bring it in and use it in our in our um, in our composition so now that we've got these three what we'll do is we'll bring in so now, sorry, now we've got these three sort of figured out in our calculation screen. We can pretend the calculation screen doesn't even exist anymore. What we can do is, and sorry, let's just let's just set it to take group one. There we go. So it's also taking into account the mask. So now what we do in the output, this is going to be our actual screen, the output screen. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it back to being on there we go turn it back to being on and remember we haven't got any mapping so let's start from fresh and map it all the way it's supposed to be using the faces as I mentioned you can do this with the faces and put logos in and that's what we're going to do so we're going to start with a 720 by 720 pixel face and this is just exactly how the box mapping backs always work so X A B C D it needs to go A B C D so we need to go in here and we need it to be let's match the input shape so it's a nice square so that's a that's b that's c that's d and remember it needs to go on its turn to the right and it needs to go down into the right bottom face so it needs to basically go like this yeah there we go something like that and we'll just drag it down and a little tip you can't really see what you're doing in the real world just throw some extra color in there okay red because it's the X face I like to keep it coordinated so okay that goes there that goes down here very rough just so we keep the video nice and short that goes there this goes here and we're just going to repeat this and check our reference for the other two faces so 
and we'll name it as well that was the X so now let's do the Y um, let's just do a new slice so slice 720 by 720 put it into the Y it needs to go here on it, all the way to the right so we call it the Y face in the output will go all the way to the right so it's going to match input shape then we're going to grab the points we're going to throw some green in and we're going to go there 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 I'm using the outer uh, outer handles by the way my good friend Yoris taught me something that um, even after this many years of using Resolume I was gobsmacked I was like oh my days I did not realise that's what that did so thank you Yoris for pointing that out for me it saved me a lot of time and it has made me add some features to the box mapping pack ok so second face done final face let's go another slice 720 720 there we go let's just take it from this part of the image which is the Z A B C D it needs to go A B C D so it just needs to tip a little bit to the right let's match the input face grab the points throw some blue in it just needs to go we've got um, as you can see we've got a magnet snapping on so we can just snap it hopefully not quite there we go close enough close enough okay so snap it into where it needs to go I've done it very roughly just for the time's sake but this is now mapped okay this is just the basic stuff remember no no logos yet so to use the logos all we need to do and we'll call this Z face now let's just take the extra color that I knocked into all of these slices so let's get rid okay now all we need to do is duplicate these duplicate put them on top okay and these are our logo layers and instead of inputting from our comp we can just input from this calc screen okay and that's how it's done we've just taken this output okay which is actually coming from our comp in here it's coming from here and it's mapped it flat out to this format as you can see here and now in the output we're actually in taking that calculation screen the virtual screen and we're using that in here now as you can see I accidentally haven't quite got it bang on because I've just done it by eye but if we go in here go to the input and I just nudge this up or down one or two I believe it's down one two three you'll probably notice that it will be fixed okay I've made it worse <laughs> so let's do that again it needs to go up doesn't it there we go it's, it's uh, a lot better there's probably one pixel there but let's not mess around so that's how it's done guys that is how you would map this uh, using the square faces and uh, what I uh, wanted to show you mainly so that's that's the feature uh, used obviously I need to add add the the depth to all the single cube renders so those of you who own the box mapping pack that is going to be getting added pretty quickly across the board I've actually rendered most of it already um, but I do want to release it all at once so no one is nagging um, but the new structures that I've added they now come like this because it's so much simpler so you get two sets of clips you get the diffuse which is all these ones and you get the depth which is all these ones and it's perspective renders so none of the faces are necessary because all mapping software allows you to take from perspective using poly points where you can draw slices just using clicks okay so we might as well just use that method from now on so with the new content but the new content looks like this as you can tell it's perspective renders and all you'd have to do is the first method okay you just map it using points so that is how it all works guys have fun dropping logos for you and your clients into here there and everywhere into your structures and do take a look on our site uh, over the next coming couple days and weeks because I will be dropping a ton of content that I know you've all been waiting very long for so without further ado thank you very much uh, this has been Kane from DJVB and I'll see you in the next one